this is a turtle in aerodynamics. Why? Why not? So the turtle is flying at 30 meters per second. So you know, it can happen. Don't, don't judge. And we have the streamlines going over it. On the turtle, there's a pressure distribution. The streamlines have the U magnitude. And I put the streamlines quite low to begin with. So they can rotate around. And just here, we get a pretty good sense of what the streamlines are doing. So at the front of the shell, there are these two um, like little things that come out and that pushes the flow down. And then over the rear legs, the flow goes over and comes down a little bit as well, rolls up a little bit. Overall, the drag coefficient was like 0 0.35. Um, it's pretty decent considering it is fairly bluff, but its shell is almost airfoil-like. Not as good as an airfoil, but you know, not too bad. And so like here you can see the legs, the flow going over it uh, comes from underneath the rest of the, the shells. So there is a little bit of um, new flow that hasn't really hit these front flippers hitting the back flippers. Just that is quite cool. Over the left front flipper tip, you have that flow that pops up a little bit. And this, I put the streamlines a little bit higher, so around the turtle's neck. So I want to see whether these streamlines are going now. And you can see straight off the bat that the streamlines are going over the front flipper first and they're accelerating in velocity. And then they hit, there's flow that goes underneath the shell and then that pops up and goes over the rear flippers. See that? See, look at that flow going underneath the shell and then somehow pops up for some reason. I'm not too sure why it does that. And it happens on both sides. So there is definitely different flow hitting the rear flippers to the front flippers. These glyphs are arrows that show the direction of the flow and it's going through the turtle in that plane. So this gives you a good idea as to how stream on the flow is. And it is pretty decent. Like you can see there is some, um, with that flow there, as I was mentioning, coming underneath the shell and coming back up, but the shell is fairly aerodynamic. Like at the back, you can see it's all getting pushed down a little bit and it's fairly obvious why it would be. I mean, turtles, they swim in the ocean, hydrodynamics are very similar to aerodynamics in many respects they're the same. So the turtle is going to be hard aerodynamics and hydrodynamics which is why it's so streamlined. And this is the same plane, but it's showing the U magnitude. So we're going through the turtle and you can see over the front flippers, there's this dramatic increase in velocity. So there's acceleration, so it's producing a bit of lift. And you can see on the flipper, that low pressure indicates that compared to the bottom as well with the low, the um, low velocity that the flippers are producing quite a bit of lift here. And the general, this point here shows two things. One, the flow is going down a little bit. So that shows the turtle is producing a little bit of lift. It's not much, it's like something like 0 0.05 or something. And that's mainly because um, it's at zero attack, first of all. But secondly, it's got such a big um, surface area that it um, has a low drag and low lift coefficient. But over the top, you can see that there is flow acceleration on the shell and a little bit at the front, which we saw, but not as much as the top, which is producing that lift, I guess. All right, so that's it. Make sure to check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It makes all your experiments better. It makes you a better aerodynamicist and you would love aerodynamics more. Check out the International Aerodynamics Complex we have. Link in the description and register.